Let's talk about the danger levels of every entity in Lethal Company. Starting off, we have F tier, standing for friends, that is, because basically none of these entities will ever injure you. First, we have the Manta Coil, which is a cool little bird with four wings. It just runs away when you get near it. The only threat these guys ever pose is apparently spreading disease, according to Sigurd's logs, so just don't eat them and you'll be fine. Second, we have the Roaming Locusts, which are basically just a group of flies. They can't do damage and simply run away when they're approached, or even when you shine a flashlight at them. Both the Manticoil and Roaming Locusts are given a 0% danger level according to Sigurd's logs, which makes sense because they can't harm you. Finally for F tier, we have the Spore Lizard. This big guy is so cute and just wags his tail at you. The only real way he poses any threat at all to you is if you run directly into him in an attempt to get bit. And even then, his bite does such a small amount of damage that if you were to ever die to one of these, I'd be very disappointed in you. Time for D tier. These are mobs that you theoretically shouldn't die to, but there is a chance, like there are some situations that they could be dangerous to you. The Hagradir, this blue amoeba guy, is very, very slow, but also very, very wide, which makes it effective at trapping you in hallways, doors, stairs, whatever, while being chased by other monsters. It'll kind of just alley-oop you to them if you run into them in a narrow space. Way from behind takes it away. Chalmers, pull, damn! So yeah, dangerous only under very specific circumstances. The Baboon Hawk is an outside monster that I personally rarely run into. They're definitely one of my favorite entities though because you get to scream at them and they run away. They're only a danger if you have to be quiet because someone in your house is sleeping, which is pretty funny, or if they charge at you in a pack. I've never died to or even been hit by one of these guys though, so they can stay in D tier. Next, we have C tier. I'll call this the avoid tier because as long as you don't mess with these entities, they probably won't mess with you. First up, we have the circuit bees. As much as I wanted to put these in B tier, <laughs> I couldn't because if you die to one of these guys, it's honestly on you or whichever teammate of yours decided to mess with their hive. The bees are very, very dangerous if you this? mess with them, but as long as you aren't chasing that 100 credit hive of theirs, you're probably not gonna die to the bees. Stealing their hive and killing your teammates in the process is very, very funny though. What the fuck? I'm bait. Go get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Run, run! Move! Get in here, get in here, get in here! No, Ben! Ben's gonna fucking die! <laughs> okay. Next, the hoarding bugs. I absolutely hate these little bitches. They just waltz around like they own the place and get mad when you take any kind of loot in front of them. The little shit's here. Fuck you, man. Move. Wait, he took my bottles! Wait, he took my bottles! Bottles! Give me the damn bottles! Where the bottles at? Give me the fucking bottles, you piece of shit. Give me that. Oh, 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 oh. Now, they are pretty easy to kill and not necessarily too dangerous to you, but they can and will kill you, or at least me, frequently enough to get them a C tier danger rating. Lastly, we have the bunker spider. These spiders are freaky and they do a lot of damage, 90 to be exact, but what makes them C tier is that they're not really aggressive at all. If you don't get caught in their web or start destroying it, it's quite rare that a spider will be chasing you down trying to kill you. Even if they are chasing you though, they're slow and you can literally just jump over them and run the other direction if you really need to. Scary looking, not so dangerous though. B tier. Now we're getting into the mobs that have the killing potential. The Snare Flea is a sneakily dangerous monster. It has killed me countless times because you're not always with a teammate that can shovel it or zap gun it if it latches onto you, and it's really not possible to always be checking the ceiling for these annoying fucks. He's not actually right. accurate. The bug! 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 He's pursuing our asses. <laughs> Basically, if a snare flea drops on you from the ceiling and you're not with a prepared teammate, you're dead. The masked entity is a very unique one, as it hides in plain sight. I've seen and experienced countless deaths from my idiot self and my idiot teammates who just didn't recognize from behind that the mask wasn't a friendly employee. One of the main parts that makes it able to actually kill you is that the mask likes to hide behind doors or walls or bookcases to pop out and instantly kill you, which then produces yet another mask. You can usually avoid dying to these guys, but I'd be lying if I said that they didn't catch me off guard and kill me every once in a while. Giant. Oh no! No! This 
next monster might be the first one that a lot of people tend to disagree with, but I have the Thumper as our last in B tier. The Thumper can see you, move fast, and attack quickly, so what makes it B tier? Well, the Thumper takes four attacks to kill a full health employee, which is a lot. And I also think it's quite easy to juke these guys. Just run into another room and shut the door, break line of sight, and then that Thumper is lost. They are not very smart. The only real danger they pose is if you're already low health and they spot you while you have no stamina. Not too bad in my opinion. Now we get into the big league threats. A tier. The eyeless dogs are responsible for the shortest round I've ever been a part of. Bro. S plus? <laughs> Bro, what does S What the? The obvious weakness of the dogs is that you can just quietly move around them and they won't detect you most of the time. However, when there's a pack of them and you have to move quietly by walking or crouching, they can be really hard to avoid, especially when they can come into your ship. If one of them touches you, you're dead. They are also extremely deadly when paired with the forest giants, which can happen pretty often. You can't run because of the dogs and you can't hide because of the giants. Another outside mob is our next, and this time it's the Leviathan. This massive entity can prove quite the task to avoid on your way back to the ship. When the ground starts to rumble, you have to sprint immediately away from that spot on the ground. And if you don't have enough stamina, or if you don't react quickly enough, there goes you and all of your loot. Although you might not run into the Leviathans very often, you will have to pay close attention to survive when you do. Now for many people's favorite mob, the Bracken. The Bracken is the poster monster of Lethal Company, and for good reason. It's responsible for some of the worst jump scares I've ever gotten, alongside some of the most unexpected deaths I've had. They will stalk you all game just to get a chance to take you out from behind, which is what makes them so dangerous, because they mainly attack you when you aren't looking. It almost feels like you are the guard in an Assassin's Creed game, and the main character sneaks up behind you and just snaps your neck. My personal favorite entity in the game, but not the most dangerous. The Bracken gets a solid A tier. Lastly for A tier, we're looking at the Nutcracker. The Nutcracker is the only true ranged enemy in the game, and as such, it has a different degree of danger added onto its insta-kill weapon. Did I mention that his shotgun can collapse multiple people at once? Yeah, this motherfucker goes crazy if you let him. But if you're quick, and you're able to run away, you should be able to survive a decent portion of the time. That's it. That's a normal <laughs> Tier. If A tier was for big league threats, S tiers are the superstars of the league. These are entities that will change the way you have to play the game if they're present on your moon. If you exit the ship or the facility and see a forest giant anywhere nearby, you are in for a long and dangerous walk. These massive entities sprint as fast as you but with no stamina bar and they used to have the vision of a fucking peregrine falcon. Now these guys would certainly be S plus tier if they hadn't gotten nerfed back in December, but now they can't see as far which makes them just a little easier to survive. Don't get me wrong, I still die very frequently to forest giants. <laughs> and the only way to pass them is to march a long circle around them and pray that they don't spot you. The most dangerous out of all the outside monsters in my opinion, S tier. Next in S tier we have the Coilhead. The horror character trope of a monster that can move while you're not staring at it never fails to be intense, and the Coilhead is no different. As soon as I hear that spray, I'm looking at that motherfucker like... Now, while you can have your teammates help you stare at the coil heads, or just keep them in place yourself, they add a whole new dimension of danger because they keep you completely distracted from the other mobs. You could unknowingly be backing up into a thumper, nutcracker, or worst of all, a bracken. Coil heads and brackens are extremely difficult to deal with when paired together. When a coil head appears, it's usually a bit of an alarm bell to get moving out of the facility, and they can really take some teamwork to thwart. They're dangerous enough on their own, but they also make every other inside entity more dangerous with their presence. Finally in S tier, we have one of the scariest entities in the game. Can you guess it? It's the ghost girl. This creepy ass girl will just occasionally show up in the corner of your screen playing creepy ambient music, and that means you're marked. She will proceed to inside or outside of the facility, stalk your ass, and skip at you trying to decapitate you. I still remember running into this girl when I had no clue who she was and it scared the living hell out of me. Here, here, flashlight. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? Because all of my friends were acting as if everything's normal. Oh. I don't see anything. Mate, no, bro. <laughs> don't, don't start with me. And I'm sitting there screaming and running around for my life. 
Yeah. Bro, bro. Oh, okay! Did you see yes, it this I time? I didn't see anything. No, I didn't. Nah, you're playing with me. <laughs> no! Nah. Anyways, try to avoid looking at her because every time you do, she has a chance to attack you and she will fuck you up. One of the scariest entities in the game, S tier. Before we get to S plus tier, I have an honorary mention that doesn't really belong in any of these tiers, but I'm gonna put it at S plus, and that is the employee, AKA your teammates. I think this one's pretty self-explanatory, but if you've ever been shafted by one of your teammates, you know what I'm talking about. By far, in my opinion, the most dangerous entity in all of Lethal Company, the Jester. This entity can only be described as the end of your time in the facility. Once the Jester pops, you either leave or you die. When it starts winding up, it's a ticking time bomb waiting to beeline at you and insta-kill you. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'd be shitting my pants. <laughs> Ben, Ben, did they open it? It's been custom for everyone else. Let me just read you an excerpt from the wiki. The Jester is omnipotent, knowing the location of all employees in the facility. It begins hunting the employee closest to it while its speed increases constantly, eventually surpassing that of an employee at full sprint. Upon catching an employee, it will kill them instantly on contact. There is no outrunning or hiding from a pop Jester. Exiting the facility is the only way to escape it. For that reason, if I see a Jester at any point in a run, I turn my ass around and I leave. If you do that, you'll probably survive a good portion of the time, as long as you know the way out. But the fact that a singular mob is so dangerous that you're forced to leave at the sight of it is a testament to it being the most dangerous entity in the game. And there we have it. The tier list of the most dangerous entities in Lethal Company. Do you agree? Let me know if you would place anything differently. Thank you for watching if you made it all the way to the end, and subscribe for more cool ass Lethal Company videos. Later. Takes it away. Chalmers, pull, damn!